Hi y'all. This is just a random update on a few things. Um, I have a few videos planned, but um, probably won't get done today, but they're longer videos and I need to make lists about what needs to go in them. So this is just a quick random update. Um, I wanted to do a planner update and just a couple other things, a couple like quick reviews. Um, this is the, wait, sorry. This is this brand's planner. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Okay. Um, I've told you guys that I have their um, notebook, which I love. I had been using the weekly planner. It's just a standard weekly. It has the days here, Saturday and Sunday, sadly crammed together at the, geez, at the bottom. But that's the way most of these are done in order to make space, obviously, with a note page. Um, what I had been doing, I'll show you this messy page, is drawing a line down right here to make some space. So on this side, I put the days I work and wear and any appointments. Um, oh, there's a bad word. Sorry. Um, and then over here, I put the things that I need to get done, to-dos and things like that. Um, and there were a whole lot of wash and soak the piercing and things like that that week. So it's not as busy as it look. there were, looks. There was just a lot of reminders. And then over here, what I had been doing is putting to-dos for the week and then notes and things like that. Um, I started getting a little more creative and adding some color because the paper is fantastic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the notebook. Pardon me. But um, it was getting a little bit on the boring side. This, this week I haven't done anything. So it was getting kind of boring and I was a little frustrated with it. I still have, I do use the monthly calendars and this, they're not spectacular, they're these. So it has the month in, like in a column. But all I use the monthly for really is to mark pay dates, um, days that I work, car payments, doctor's appointments, things like that, um, when money goes out, when money comes in, those kinds of things. And most of those are coded with colored dots. So paydays are green dots when money goes out or red dots, just like you would see in a, a regular ledger, right? And then appointments are, are written in. Um, like right there, I had a doctor's appointment. And so those are written in and highlighted. Um, so I, I do use the monthly calendar. I do use the week right now to list weekday or work days. I'm sorry. And stuff, um, this summer, hopefully I'll find a summer job. If I'm not working, um, I may just sort of abandon this. In the meantime, what I did, I had ordered one of the small Moleskinas, um, at the, at the end of last year or the very beginning of this year for this year. And then I had order, also ordered a large one. Well, I was liking the large one better. I had ordered the Snoopy ones. I think I showed you guys that either in a blog post or on here. Um, and I ended up giving the small one to my daughter, which worked out really well because she uses the jeepers out of it. But, um, and then I didn't like the big one much. But So I went ahead and just ordered the small one of these because I really missed having a daily. And... I don't do lots in my dailies, but I use them as a logbook, and then I do, like every day I do a gratitude list, and that's something I had gotten in the habit of doing when I use my page for day file effects, and I found myself really missing it, which there's nothing major in it, to be honest with you. It's just, it's really neat when you can look back and say, oh, this day I was grateful that I had work. I was also grateful that th for three o'clock, because that's when I got off, but you know, often they repeat. It's healthy kids. It's things like that. Um, but they're really neat to look back at, and I had missed those. Um, but I'm using the heck out of this as a logbook. I really like the size. There's just enough room to record the things that I need to do, a few to-dos, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, that's not going to show. You guys can't see that, I don't think, at all. Oh, yeah, sort of up there. Up here I put my water intake and my vitamins and things like that that I need to remember to do. Um... But this is working really well for a logbook. So this is going to be a repeat for next year, I think, because it's working really well. I like Moleskine's. You can even stick the pen right in there, which I do. It's just hideously horrible for the book, obviously, but I do it anyway. And then it's right there, ready to go. Um, I had also been coloring some of the pages like that, just coloring the edges. And what I use for those, what I haven't done a review on, and what I use for that, I'll show you guys really quickly, are the... Um, Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell pit artist pins. They don't bleed through paper. Um, I just have the 12 set. I did order some of the grays because I found that what I use most is this gray 
and then this blue right here that's kind of a blue gray and, a, and the pink. So they're a brush tip. They don't bleed through the paper. They are India ink, so once it dries, it's permanent. It does show through, but there's a, there's zero bleed through even when you go back over it. I, conceivably, you could get it wet enough to bleed through. I haven't yet. So these are really fantastic. And I also use, I got those from Dick Blick, and I got the Stadler, Stadler um, Tripless Fine Liners from Jet Pins. These are fantastic too. These are a very narrow tip, felt tip marker. Um, wow, that's really difficult to see. That's a little bit better. Very narrow tip. I think they're a 0.3 tip. These don't bleed through either. They do show through a little bit, but these are not going to bleed through. So I've had no problems at all with the Moleskine paper bleeding through at all. So they're really fantastic. Um, let's see what else really quickly. Um, I did break down, though, on the planner front and order the current quarter of the Woman Success Planner. I did like this a lot. I used it a lot when I had it. I finally quit using it. I don't know. I don't remember what I went to. I don't remember if I went back to Filofax. But if you'll remember, the biggest issue for us at the time, me and a few other ladies used it, were the narrow um, columns. But to be honest with you, what I use this primarily for is to do. And then uh, what my favorite thing about this planner is, do you see it down here at the bottom where it says Health Tracker? What this tracks is water, vegetables. You can put whatever you want here, and then other things you can track down here. It has hints for exercise. Yeah. Um, I, and I don't remember what else I put down here, but I was tracking something else. I think it was like sleep hours or something. Um, but that's really brilliant. And then at the beginning of the month in this, or the beginning of the weeks, excuse me, they have these fabulous trackers for things to do for every week. So clean out the fridge, mop the floors. They have a place for to-dos, a place for a shopping list, and a menu planner, which I don't use as much because we're horrible about planning menus. We kind of just, oh, what's for supper tonight? Um, the monthlies are these nice blocked monthlies, which, is my, which are my favorites. They do have very faint lines that run through them. The monthly paper is a hard, is a heavy cardstock, which is fabulous because you can write on it with anything. The paper in these is fantastic, totally fountain pen proof, so you can use whatever pens you want to. In the back, if you'll recall, it has a place for business cards and a place to store receipts or papers or what have you. Um, these are really fabulous. She was very, very, very kind uh, to send me a little gift, and I'll do a blog post about that. But um, this is fabulous. If you're looking for something like this and you can handle your writing isn't huge and you can handle the smaller spaces, Women's Success Planner is really brilliant. So I really think that it's going to work better this time in conjunction with the daily log book. I think it's going to work out really well because there's plenty of space in this to write the other things that are going on. And this is what used to frustrate me to tears about Filofax is that I would just kind of run out of space. And um, after doing the tracking things that really need to go in a planner and putting the daily log, log book things, excuse me, I would just really run out of room. Um, the other thing that I've kept up and that I still do on a consistent basis, although not every day, is I have one of these. It's the same brand. Love the paper. Completely fountain pen proof. Um, nicer than Rhodia for me because it doesn't have that kind of coating. It's a nice ivory color. Um, but in this is a journal of sorts. And so this is where I write anything extended that happened, anything extended that's going on, any notes. Like if I'm say shopping for something and I have a comparison of prices or things, it goes in this. It's sort of an everything else book plus kind of a journal. So I know that seems like a lot, but this one doesn't always go everywhere with me. This often stays at home. This is not something that I pack around. So really what I pack around now is the pocket size Moleskina and I'll be using the Women's Success Planner um, starting this week because it did come today. So I can start it out for this week. And I hate half weeks. Those, those just look weird. Yeah, I know it's a little on the obsessive compulsive side, but it's all good. Um, anyway, this is cutting really short. Please, YouTube, give me another five minutes. Fifteen minutes is not too long, right? Anyway, I will get some more videos made and uploaded, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.